Hey everyone, I'm the Anime Watcher, and today I've been watching Demon Slayer at the middle of the night with your mom and found 50 darkest secret in Demon Slayer that you may or may not have seen before. To waste it all of your time, let's get into the video. Spoiler alert. Darkest secret number one. Did you know that when our beloved Mitsuri died with Obanai, the Kakushi had to bury them together because they were hugging each other so tightly that no one could separate them? Goddamn, bro. This is the first time Obanai got to hug Mitsuri, and bro never want to let it go. Secret number two. The moment the Infinity Castle gate opened, you can see all the crows volunteer to go in by themselves and start mapping it out like they're the Google Map employee. Jesus, how much, bro, even get paid? That explains why Kagaya Ubuyashiki's son, Kiria, could draw the Infinity Castle map out in such a short period of anime time to assist all Demon Slayers and Hashira. W. The Crow Secret number three. Did you know that Genya's technique is the forgotten technique? A long-lost breathing technique existed long ago that allowed a user to tap into demonic power temporarily while being exposed to demon blood, but at a severe cost to their humanity. That's why bro mad all the time for no reason. Somebody get this boy a therapy, yo. Secret number four. Did you know why our yellow boy Zenitsu stood behind Rengoku like that when Rengoku died? It's because Zenitsu has strong enhanced hearing abilities. He could hear Rengoku's heart slowly stop beating bit by bit. That's why he stood there to pay respects until the last heartbeat. God damn, Zenitsu was the real one, bro. Secret number five. Shinobu is one of the smartest Hashira. She could tell that Giyu was down bad about her, but that boy is too introverted to speak his mind. That's why when Shinobu planned on suicide by poisoning herself so she could defeat Doma, she told everyone about her plan, but not Giyu, because she knew he would begging her for that cake before she died. I mean, Giyu wouldn't allow it because he loves her cake so much. Wait, that just come out wrong. I mean, he loves the Japanese cake she bakes for him. Secret number six. Nezuko have a terrifying potential that could awaken if she ever loses control. It even possibly that she could surpassing even the strongest sassy demon Muzan. Let's say if Tanjiro were to die, Nezuko could be recruited by demons and she might be destined to become the next demon queen after defeating Muzan herself. You might think that's bullshit, bro, but think about it. Although Nezuko is weaker than Muzan, she can walk in the sunlight and use the sun to defeat Muzan. And no one know how strong she could become if she eat her brother meat. Wait, that came out wrong. Don't call the FBI. Secret number seven. Did you know both our boys Genya and Muchiro died thinking the other one would survive? They thought their sacrifices would allow the other to contribute to defeating Kokushibo, but sadly because they got separated. I mean, they both get separated by cut clean in half like a Demon Slayer budget in Season 4. Because all the budget went to Muzan moonwalking, bro. God damn, I think I downloaded Indian Demon Slayer or something. Secret number 8. Not a lot of people noticed. But the only time in the entire story that Inosuke called Tanjiro by the right name was when he was about to be cut in half by demon Tanjiro. Bro might have been scared so much that he started calling him by the right name. Secret number nine. At the end of the story, Tengen wished he had been the one to die instead of Muichiro, because Muichiro was the youngest Hashira and hadn't even lived life yet. Meanwhile, Tengen was the only Hashira who had already completed life because he had three wives and all. To be honest, this dude is more than just completing life. He's literally clapping life right now. Secret number 10. After the final battle, Sanemi started to become an alcoholic, drinking day and night. But later he stopped because he remembered how his father used to get drunk and beat the crap out of his mother every day when he was young. Thank goodness bro was already look like he drunk in his normal self, bro. Secret number 11. Did you know that after Akaza died, his wife came from heaven? and took him to hell with her because she didn't want Akaza to be alone again? His wife was a real loyal woman, bro. Even after death, she'd choose him. Unlike my ex having another boyfriend after an hour, we broke up, man. Secret number 12. Duma originally wasn't planning on eating Kotoha, Inosuke's mother, because he enjoyed her being around. That means his mother must have been an incredible person, because when it comes to women, Duma brutally murders them in cold blood. This sassy Baka has no emotions or sympathy whatsoever. He literally the only demon that has no sad backstory. This shithead become a demon because he was bored. Secret number 13. 
Do you remember the kid from the Swordsmith Village who was saved by Muichiro? After hearing about Muichiro's death, he changed his hairstyle to honor him. Secret number 14. Did you know Yorichi had a curse? Even though he is known as the strongest demon slayer in history, the reason why he became so powerful is because of the curse inside him. Some say it's the curse of strength and knowledge. His fate was to fight demons alone and share his knowledge with the new generation. He could not abandon his mission. Secret number 15. Sadly, Muichiro's body and many other demon slayers were never found due to them being lost in the Infinity Castle. Secret number 16. Some say the Infinity Castle was not completely destroyed after the final battle between Muzan and the Hashira. Because Nakime didn't only use her blood to create the Infinity Castle, she also used real materials as well. So if demons come back to life again, at least one of them with similar blood demon art to Nakime can reopen the Infinity Castle. Secret number 17. Did you know Aoi also had a crush on Tanjiro at first? But after she found out that Kanao also had a crush on him, she stopped because Aoi thought she wasn't as important as Kanao. So she sacrificed her love so that Kanao could be happy. Secret number 18. Some say you can never recreate demons again after all of them have died. That's because Muzan's origin transformation into a demon wasn't the result of a failed medical experiment. It was a dark magic ritual from the underworld that granted a wish to whoever desired it. Muzan wanted immortality, but his soul was too evil, and that's what turned him into a demon. If Muzan had been a good guy, he would have gained immortality instead. Secret number 19. Do you remember Akaza's frozen technique that he used to fight Rengoku? If you watch closely, the technique is actually inspired by his wife's hairpin. Secret number 20. If you remember the sword that Tanjiro found in the swordsmith village, you have to know that sword was once crafted by the cursed swordsmith. Every blade he created absorbs the pain and suffering of its previous owners. God damn, bro found a cursed sword thinking it treasure. Remember kid, ain't nobody pick an old object like that. Bro might never see a horror movie before. Secret number 21. There's a theory that flame breathing doesn't only have nine forms. There was a secret form created by Rengoku himself, but he never got to use it. As we can see in Rengoku's last stand against Akaza, he revealed that he had a hidden technique meant for his final moments. But he never got to use it because Akaza made a donut out of him. Secret number 22. Did you know why Zenitsu was in debt in the first place? And had to be saved by his grandpa from the debt. In exchange, he has to train to become a demon slayer. Well, the real reason Zenitsu was in debt was because every girlfriend he ever had only used him for money and dumped him later. Damn, bro is just like me for real. All of that money gone and for what? You think you gave them so much, but behind your back she accept gift from another man. Secret number 23. Rengoku's brother, Senjuro, never missed his birthday. But after Rengoku died... He also stopped celebrating his birthday because now he had to become the man of the house since his father was always drunk. Bro has to step up and become the man of the house at the young age. Secret number 24. No one noticed this. But did you notice that Tanjiro cried so much when Rengoku died? But remember, Tanjiro never got a proper chance to cry when his whole family died because he was too busy saving Nezuko. Secret number 25. The Demon Slayer Corps used to have a secret library that contained knowledge of forbidden spells and techniques used to bind demons. But Muzan burned it down. That's why Master Kagaya Ubuyashiki light our boy Muzan up on fire to revenge for his library. Secret number 26. When Nezuko turned back into human form, she cried so hard. The reason behind this is because this was the first time she realized her family was dead. Urokodaki used a spell to make her see other people as her family so she thought they were still alive the whole time. Secret number 27. Did you know at the end, Mitsuri kept talking to Obanai the whole time, not realizing he had died a few minutes before she did? By the time she knew, she was already gone too, and they were together in the afterlife. Secret number 28. Inosuke didn't really listen to anyone, not even Tanjiro. Most of the time, he agreed with Tanjiro because it boosted his ego or gave him an advantage. But Shinobu was different. Inosuke listened to her because she made him feel like he had a mother again. Sadly, he watched her die right in front of him, losing someone he respected one more time after Rengoku. Secret number 29. Did you know the stone Hashira is easily traumatized by kids because he got betrayal by kid in the past? He is scared to talk to new kids he doesn't know yet. 
That's why our elephant boy hides behind a tree the size of a chopstick, thinking he's being sneaky. He is hiding his anger toward children. I think bro might enjoy beating up demons that are in child form so much if he finds one. Secret number 30. Did you know Muzan is secretly an introvert? I mean, he acts like he's almighty and powerful, but deep down he's just socially awkward. That's why he stands there and lets Kagaya Ubuyashiki does all the talking. Bro might just too awkward to voice his thoughts. That's why he hate when Doma talk because he an extrovert. Honestly, he's the definition of that quiet kid in school who suddenly gets superpower. Secret number 31. Did you know that when Tanjiro first became a demon, the smell of human blood didn't affect him as much because he trained his sense of smell to such an advanced level? This ability to resist the temptation of blood is what ultimately gave him the upper hand in his battle against Muzan's demonic influence. Secret number 32. Kanao, Tsuyuri's coin isn't just for making decisions. It actually holds a deeper meaning. The coin represents her inability to trust her own judgment after years of emotional trauma, and flipping it helps her mask her fear of making the wrong choice. It's a crutch that reminds her of her past. Secret number 33. Tengen Uzui's wives weren't always as happy and harmonious as they seemed. There was tension among them at the beginning, as each wife felt insecure about her place in Tengen's life. However, after surviving multiple missions together, they grew to understand and love each other deeply, seeing themselves as one family rather than rivals. Secret number 34. Did you know why Muzan had all those experimental materials when he met with the Upper Moons? He was actually experimenting all the time to create stronger demons and new blood demon arts that he could use himself. Most demons became powerful because Muzan performed cruel experiments on them. Secret number 35. Did you know that if the Stone Hashira hadn't saved Shinobu and Kane Kocho on time when they were kids, they might have ended up as demon snacks? Talk about a scary bedtime story. Without his help, there wouldn't be any insect or flower Hashira, and worse than, that Doma might have swooped in to recruit them for his cult. Imagine those two trying to be good little cult members. Yikes. Secret number 36. Do you remember Enmu and why he fused himself with the train instead of eating people directly? It's believed that he couldn't consume all those people in a single day, so he planned to fuse himself with the train and ask Nakime to teleport the whole train into the Infinity Castle. But bro got his ass kick before arrive at the location. Secret number 37. After Shinobu's death, Kanao secretly took on Shinobu's research, continuing to develop and perfect the poison used on demons. However, Kanao vowed never to use the poison on herself, believing that Shinobu's method of self-sacrifice was too painful to replicate. Secret number 38. Nezuko's blood contains an ancient curse, making it both a blessing and a potential source of great destruction. The leaf mark on her body is actually the manifestation of this curse, passed down through many generations of her family. Secret number 39. The stone Hashira secretly hated children ever since the day he was imprisoned, feeling betrayed after saving a child from a demon. However, after speaking to Tanjiro, the anger inside him truly faded. Some say the reason he meditates so often is because he fears accidentally punching a child, bro afraid that his intrusive thoughts might surface. Secret number 40. The secret behind Nezuko's rapid healing abilities lies in the fact that Muzan unknowingly transferred part of his own consciousness into her when he first turned her into a demon. This is why Muzan was so determined to control Nezuko. He feared that if Nezuko know how to use his ability, she would know Muzan location and where all other demon are hiding. Secret number 41. Even though demons do not remember their lives as humans, they can recall the memories of the people they consume, especially if they eat the head and that juicy brain. Secret number 42. Kagaya Ubuyashiki didn't have five kids just because he was constantly horny all the time, because he wanted a boy to be his successor. After each daughter, he kept thinking, just one more, this one has to be a boy. And when it wasn't, another kid, it became a mission. He wasn't stopping until he got a son. Finally, after four girls, the youngest was a boy. Bro has his own little mission besides slaying demon. Secret number 43, Nakimi, the Biwa playing demon had a tragic love story before becoming a demon. She was a wandering musician whose lover was murdered. In her grief, she made a pact with Muzan, hoping to bring her lover back to life. Instead, she was transformed into the cold, 
emotionless demon who controls the Infinity Castle. Secret number 44. Kanao's Unseen Power Kanao has an innate ability to read the future in the blood of demons, a skill she hides due to its dark implications. Moreover, she can never change the future she sees, which is why she fears using it. She's afraid of seeing the death of someone close to her and being powerless to stop it. Secret number 45 Muzan's obsession with perfection isn't just a personal flaw. It's rooted in his childhood. As a boy, Muzan was often sick and frail, constantly ridiculed for being weak. This deep-seated trauma led to his desperate quest for immortality and invincibility, fueling his hatred toward anything he perceived as imperfect. Secret number 46. Kanao's flower breathing is all about her feelings. The more she hides her emotions, the stronger she becomes. But there's a catch. The longer she uses it, the more it messes with her emotional well-being. After Shinobu passed away, Kanao became even more closed off, which only heightened her abilities. Secret number 47. There's a theory that Obanai secretly went back and killed all the women and demons who raised him. He kept this hidden from the Demon Slayer core, especially Rengoku and his father. Unlike other Hashira, who avoid harming humans, he harbors a deep grudge against those who wronged him and made his face disfigured. He secretly hated women, which is why he initially avoided talking to Shinobu and Mitsuri. But after Mitsuri showed him kindness, he began to fall in love with her, as no woman had ever been that kind to him before. Secret number 48. Before becoming a demon, Kokushibo was a master swordsman, even more skilled than his brother, Yorichi. His desire to surpass Yorichi ultimately led him down the path of darkness, as he believed the only way to gain power was to become a demon. Secret number 49. The water-breathing techniques that Giyu Tomioka uses weren't originally meant for combat. They were derived from an ancient martial art designed to protect villages from natural disasters. Giyu's adaptation of these techniques into swordsmanship made him one of the most formidable Hashira. Darkest secret number 50. Finally, Muzan was never able to fully comprehend human emotions, which is why he never formed meaningful relationships even with his own demon creations. His inability to connect with others ultimately led to his downfall, as he underestimated the power of the bonds that held the demon slayers together. 